What's going on YouTube Rocks? It's the Terrier here, and today we're bringing you another episode of our Fire Emblem Awakening LP. So, in the last episode, we left off, I think, facing some of the Risen, is what they're called now. We call them the Risen, the things that came out of that portal back in uh, episode 2. So, yeah, we're on chapter 3, and I cut it right there because it looked like we're about to hit the next chapter or like some sort of scene, so I stopped it right there. So, we're gonna get right back into it. Let's see what's going on.
conversation. If you guys haven't already, mock my second like button, like it, afraid it, story, do whatever you want. Just don't hit the dislike button. Because I'm gonna be really sad if you do. Just toss your thunder out there if you guys want to subscribe or whatever. Or hit the like button as well as too. Chapter 3, A Warrior Realm. Frederick, I'm freezing. Stand beside my horse, my lady. She'll shelter you from the wind. Oh. Oh, so this is the fortress? Right. Right, yes. The long fort. It stretches along the border of Elise and Rigana Ferox. Ah. The cons the rule of Ferox have grown quite wary of foreigners. Still, don't mistake a lack of hospitality for open hostility. This simply calls for a bit of diplomacy. <sighs> Uh, negotiation is not my strong suit, but I'll do my best. Remember, everyone, your actions here reflect back upon your lease. Yo, is it just me, Ooh. but Crom and uh, Robin kind of have the same voice? Not only because I'm doing it that way, but because how they sound, actually. They kind of have the same voice. It's weird. Uh, I have to look up their voice actors and actresses for the game. Oh, uh, but yeah. Trouble in wind, my lord. The Feroxy Guard are mobilizing. What? What? Why? Right. Who can say, but they look ready to fl fly at a moment's notice. We'd best prepare for combat, just to be safe. Perhaps we ought to pull, pull our supplies and select which shepherds to deploy. Loathed as I am to trust him, Roxas might offer some valuable insight in this. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. He is our tactician, after all. So, Roxas, what do you suggest? Are we gonna get into a fight right now? Well, we're getting into a fight right now. Oh, it's preparations. Preparations menu unlocked. Select the units who will fight. Oh, that's how you determine who you add to your party. I thought it was gonna be a broken game where you have all these characters on your field and just bopping people. But I guess that would be too easy, right? You select the units to decide who will take the field, choose inventory to change, oh, to manage weapons and items, and fight sequence. Once your preparations are complete, choose fight to begin the battle. All right, seems pretty simple enough, right? So we'll select units. I'm definitely gonna bring Lisa, bring her myself into the combat as well. I don't think I can actually stay out of. Oh, I can't stay out of combat. That's interesting. So what if we take Crom and? Oh, you can't take Crom out. If I was gonna say, what if you take Crom and myself out of the uh, fights? Technically, you can't lose the game because they said only if me and Crom die, then the game ends. So, uh, but they made sure to keep Crom into the game. So Crom, Crom stays in every party. So. I'm actually gonna stay and keep myself in the party as well. Lisa's gonna stay, Frederick. Um, Frederick, I will use. I kind of want to. Cavalier. Stall is a Cavalier? Huh. What's the difference? They both. Oh, he uses the sword while sitting on a horse. While oh, Frederick is a great knight who uses the lance. Oh, very interesting. Sully is also Cavalier, so she uses a lance. And, oh, she can use Cavaliers can use swords and lances. It seems okay. So Sully's gonna, you know, Sully's gonna come through. I'm gonna bring Mariel. I'm gonna leave. No, I'm gonna take Sully out actually, and I'm gonna bring Varian, Mariel, Bike. I wanna bring Bike, but that means I'll bring Stall because Stall is also Cavalier, like Sully. And Frederick is also a great knight, so I'm gonna bring, yeah, I'm gonna bring these guys with me. All right, we're good. I think we're good, right? Okay, good. It's our inventory thing. But we can still have some more conversations too, which is very interesting. Uh, select the units. We already did. We can view the map. There's three, four, five, six. Seven inside the gate. There are three, six, six enemies outside the gate where we are, and I'm guessing this is a. Oh, uh, whoa! He's a green, so I guess he's on our side. But like, I guess some sort of adversary, like someone that helps us. Not an adversary. Ad well, I don't know. Equip skills. Let's see what we got here. Dual strike. Nice. Veteran. Miracle. Discipline. Outdoor. Fighter, reorder. Oh, you can reorder those. Uh, so everyone seems to have their abilities equipped in, so we're gonna head right into the fight at this point. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Who goes there? Who goes there? Halt! <sighs> in the name of House Elise, I seek audience with the Khans. Halt! Halt! Not another step! 
My bold lad, I've lancers at the ready. Wait. Wait. Hold, milady. We are not your enemy. And Zaltimarin herself sent us to discuss matters of mutual interest. What? What? My only interest is keeping you out of Regna Ferox Brigand. <coughs> B Brigand? Now see here. Wait. Wait. You think you are the first Elysians to try and cross our border? I have no, I have no authority to fell such impos imposters where they stand. What? What? How dare you? You are in the presence of Prince Krom, the Exalt's own blood! Hmm. Huh, yes, indeed, and I'm the Queen of Vam. You do realize impersonating royalty is a capital offense, yes? Hmm. Then perhaps we should settle this in the Froxy way. You claim to be the Prince of Elise, then prove it in the battlefield. Oh, she's about to get bobbed. Ugh, Emerin won't like this at all. Please, good lady, if you just listen. Ha! ha! I've heard quite enough! Attack! Yo, it's for a queen, she does not- Oh! He let down the house of arrows on- Who is this? Sumia. Oh, Sumia! Better hold on tight, Captain. Sumia! Eh, she swooped in with the Pegasus, right. though. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, she hit him with that talk. <sighs> Damn. Sumia! Right! Hello, Sumia MVP of this chapter. What? Okay, so she's definitely getting added. Oh, Captain, I'm so relieved I made it in time. Listen, listen, that goes double for me, Sumia. And this? Is this the same or ordinary practice we met on the road? <laughs> oh, she's a sweetheart, isn't she? Once you really get to know her. Good. Well, many thanks to you both. <laughs> I think the practice is blushing. <sighs> uh, and I think we had all best focus on the situation at hand. Crumb! Crumb! They're coming! <clears throat> Alright, the Froxy way it is. To battle. Okay. <sighs> Philia said Pegas Pegasi. Whoa, Pegasi. Can fly far afield, but they're highly vulnerable to arrows. Don't worry, girl, I'll watch out for archers for both our sakes. Oh, so they're disadvantaged uh, archers. Bows are lethal to Pegasus, Pegasus knights. Uh, this effect is known as bonus damage. Many weapons cause bonus damage against certain units, which can help or harm you. Iron bow, hammer. The icons next to each weapon name on the touch screen will keep you apprised. Okay. So, we have to be careful. Is this someone that's on our side? I don't get what's going on here. Let's see. Can you attack? No, this guy's on our side. Kalam. Oh, Kalam! Oh, I remember him. He was the guy that was with us randomly. I wanna tackle the left hand, the left hand side. They have arrows though, so does that mean they can shoot across? Oh, I don't say they can shoot across the map for a second, but now they can't. Uh, I'll wait with stall, uh, stall here, and I'll just move Mariel up here a bit. We have magic too, so we can actually push their faces in in a second. So we're gonna move up a bit. Oh, I wonder if Frederick will take double the damage for the fact that, you know, I'm gonna move Lisa. Right here. Yeah, we're gonna attack one side first. I think that's the, one of our best bets. Mike is gonna protect uh, Lisa from behind, just in case. Krom can talk to. Okay. Krom and Kalam are talking. Hmm? Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Don't you see me? That's scary. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. Right here. Right here, <laughs> sir. Who's there? Show yourself! <clears throat> I'm standing in plain sight! Sir! Right! Right here! Huh? Ah! Oh! I is that you, Kalam? When did you arrive? What? What? S the same time as you! I've been with you all along, or I am I am I am still a shepherd, right? It's quite the honor, after all. I'd hate to lose it, sometimes I- Forgive me. Oh, forgive me. Of course, Kalam. Forgive me. You're just so quiet. I completely- <laughs> Quite alright, sir. Quite alright. I've been told this many times. At least the frogs I didn't find you. Uh, I've been you calling to you me. and waving my arms for several minutes. I don't think they've they've so much as a glance this really? way. Really? You almost sound disappointed. If you say so. Well, I just I'm glad you finally saw me. I just just try to keep an eye out for me from now on. Well, that's funny. Convoy. What? What? I don't, but, oh, does he walk around with, 
Items? What? Oh, we can give him items to hold, I'm guessing. That's kind of wild. Uh, sorry if you guys hear any noise in the background, but, um... My dad thought it was a good idea to start blending something while I'm recording. So yeah, that's, you know, always... Yeah, 100%. And anyway, I'm gonna wait. This turn, I'm gonna move up with, uh, Sumia. Sumia is dope. I love her for the fact that she has a Pegasus. And she flew right into battle, saved Chrome. Like, was really good. MVP right now. And I'm actually gonna move behind... Uh... I'm not moving Kalam, no. I'm gonna move behind Frederick. So. Look out! Alright. Oh! Counter! The reckoning! gracious of you. Yo, Muriel, she got bopped. She's in the bag! I've got you! Oh? Watch it! Oh no damage. Ooh, the counter attack! Real! These lanterns are wild, they just jab people Stay far away. Focused. Stay focused. Ooh, the block. Frederick don't play. Frederick don't play. He's like, you ain't shooting me. What is it, Roxas? Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about how you rode with Sumia earlier. Do our units always have to fight one-on-one? -on -one? Really? Are you suggesting we pair up? That's an interesting thought. I admit, I'd, resem I'd resemble a... A uh, pincushion right now if it were for Sumia for her oak mount. I see. Exactly. By pairing up, units could lend each other added offense and defense. It might also allow quicker soldiers to bury slower units to great distances. Yes. Yes, I'm sure of it. This opens up all sorts of strate strategic possibilities. We should try it whenever the opportunity presents itself. Move next to an ally and select pair up to move into the ally to the unit's protection. Power up the lead unit receives a stat boost to switch that you have the unit to change roles. Lead! Alright. Rom, let's go. Pair up. Uh, Frederick or Kalam. We're gonna pair up with Frederick real quick. Oh, that is so dope. Double attack, baby. Let's go. I've got you. Woo! Bop! There. Gosh, wrecking. Yo, Frederick don't play. We got a door key, so that probably right. the front door. A key. We can use it to open the fortress doors. Okay. Uh, we can also climb up. Oh no, we can't go up there. Uh. If anything. Yo, real talk. Oh, that'd be lit if you could like pair up with um. Oh lol, I can still attack. That's funny. I'm actually gonna pair with Muriel, and then we're gonna mount an attack together at uh this over here. I've got you. Hey. Asinine knave. Hello. All right. Uh, staff. You. Clearly she would heal. Healing. There you go, Lisa. She leveled up. Okay. Um, I kind of want to fight everybody here, but I... Definitely should keep... Task at hand is to move. I think I'm gonna have to fight everybody in general, right? Stall seems like he. Hello. 
mom steals like he holds items. Alright, so we here. And uh, let's move.
stall and some unit attack. I'll have a go. Oh, the double damage factor. Oh, she countered him. <laughs> nice. Now we have this one guy here chilling, like, I guess. So rudimentary. Get right. And we level up. attack this guy over here, but we don't let him. Cannot let him do that yet. And boom. Right here. So we yeah. keep us protected. Sound out the truth of your words. Ready? Yes, let's do this. Back off. Oh, back off. My turn. Oh, I, she missed. I missed. She dodged it. That's wild. That's actually wild. You're like, I know I may be by myself right now, but doesn't mean I still can't dodge and bomb you. Enough said. But let's see. You must persevere. 
true. That's wild. They gave up the minute that happened. Forgive me. Forgive me. A thousand apologies, Prince Krom. I truly look to you. Wait, I truly took you for brigand imposters. But no frauds could ever wage a battle as you just have. I will send word to you of your arrival to the capital and escort you there personally. Good. That would be most appreciated. Thank you. So mock fans check out a like button, like it for any break it story, do whatever you want with it, just don't hit the dislike button, it'll make me really sad if you do. If you guys are enjoying the Fire Emblem Awakening series that I have brought to the channel, show some likes and then drop some comments as well. Tell me what you guys are enjoying about the game so far, because this is my first time playing this game. I, like I said, it was the first time in uh, the first episode, it's my first time playing the series in general. So like, yeah, everything is new to me, so blind play through, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by the channel and take 30 minutes out of your day <laughs> to watch this. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. With that, I'm out. Bye!